ever seen this character or wondered why your perfectly good code breaks when someone types an emoji, you're about to understand character encoding better than most developers. We all know computers only speak numbers. When you type A, your computer stores the number 65. When you type A, it stores, wait, what number is that? And who decides? This is where things get messy and why that innocent looking cafe sign can crash your entire database. In the 1960s, Americans created ASCII, a simple system with just 128 slots. Think of it like trying to pack for a year-long world trip with just a carry-on. A became 65, B became 66, simple. But want cafe? Too bad, no accented E. Want to write in Chinese, Arabic, or even use emojis? Impossible. ASCII was English only, and the rest of the world was locked out. ASCII and UTF-8 are the same thing. Nope. ASCII is just the first 128 characters of UTF-8, like saying a studio apartment is the same as a skyscraper because they both have a front door. Enter Unicode, humanity's answer to the character crisis. It's not an encoding. Confused? It's a massive catalog assigning every character a unique ID number. Think of Unicode like a giant product catalog. Every character gets an ID. A is product number 65, A is product number 232, Chong is product number 2013, Emoji is product number 128,512. So Unicode tells you what each character is, not how to store it. That's like having product numbers, but no shipping method. Unicode means all characters use the same space. Wrong. Unicode just assigns numbers. The storage depends on the encoding, UTF-8, UTF-16, etc. UTF-8 is the brilliant shipping method for Unicode's catalog. It's variable width, like an accordion that expands only when needed. English A takes one byte, same as ASCII. French A takes two bytes. Chinese Chong takes three bytes. Emoji takes four bytes. This answers the big question. Why does A take more space than E? Because E fits in the original ASCII range, one byte, but A needs two bytes to store its Unicode number, 232. Practical impact. A text file saying hello, five bytes, versus saying ni hao, six bytes for two characters. Same character count, different storage size. This is why international websites need two to three times more database space. When you see er, it means someone tried to read UTF-8 text with the wrong encoding. It's like trying to read a French menu with an English-only dictionary. UTF-8 means 8-bit encoding. No, the 8 means the minimum unit is 8 bits. UTF-8 can use up to 32 bits, 4 bytes, per character. It's 8-bit based, not 8-bit limited. An important part, UTF-8 is 100% backwards compatible with ASCII. Every old ASCII file from 1970 is valid UTF-8. It's like making a new phone that can still call rotary phones. This isn't just trivia. Character encoding bugs cause corrupted databases when users enter emojis, broken websites displaying CAF instead of CAFE, failed file imports between systems, those annoying special character not allowed errors. Quick note, UTF-16 exists too, uses minimum two bytes, and used by Windows and Java internally. But UTF-8 won the web. Over 98% of websites use it. Here's the complete flow. You type a character, Unicode says, that's character 232. UTF-8 says, I'll store 232 using two bytes, computer saves those bytes. Later, UTF-8 reads those bytes and tells Unicode, this is 232. Unicode says, that's A. You see A on your screen. So now you know the secret. Unicode is the what, master character list. UTF-8 is the how, smart storage method. ASCII is the grandfather, still living inside UTF-8. Next time someone says UTF-8 is 8-bit Unicode or wonders why their emoji broke the database, you'll know exactly what went wrong. Understanding encoding isn't optional anymore. It's the invisible foundation of every text interaction in our digital world. So, in short, every character has a number, Unicode, UTF-8 cleverly stores those numbers using 1 to 4 bytes, and er means someone messed up. Please like and share if you found this useful. Subscribe for more, and see you in the next one.